So what are we looking at then? Wheat-wise? Yeah. Oh, we've probably got uh, about 3,000 pounds between the two of us, something like that. Colleen and her husband Scott foresee a day when money is so worthless that fuel and groceries become luxury items. Cocoa has gone up 300% since last Christmas. My worst case scenario is the value of the dollar is brought down to four cents. Can you believe these were 25 cents? To prepare for a society where a carton of milk would become prohibitively expensive, Colleen and her husband spend six to eight hours a day stockpiling enough food and water to last them for years. This is where we store all of our yummy freeze-dried and dehydrated foods. Just this closet alone, we have enough for about eight people for three years. They have a protein room. We're running out of room for the canned chicken. This one won't fit. Uh, there's meat stored all over the place. <laughs> it's like, oh, excuse me, don't step on the meat. A modified guest bedroom. Eight 55 gallon barrels of water. What have you oh, done no. to my guest bedroom, honey? It's a water bed. <laughs> no, I'm not getting on. up on there. And a comfort room. So a lot of people think that this room is a little bit overkill. This is where I store all the comforts, such as chocolate, brownie mixes, and toilet paper. All of our preparedness supplies that we have in the home presently um, probably have a retail value of over $100,000. Just so you know, I tallied the milk, and we're, we're looking at 700 gallons, but I really want that to be up to 900. I think they've got a sale coming up on that, too, so now would be a good time for that. It's the only time. <laughs> My wife does like to store a lot of food. I'm grateful for a wife that likes to and is good at cooking. Okay. It's something that gives you an edge in a doomsday scenario. I might add just a couple pats of butter because butter always makes uh, the sauce. Under a doomsday scenario, I'll be the only one standing there who has another 100 pounds to lose. Everybody else will be skin and bones. <laughs>